Let's talk about A Palm Beach Wife. This book is by Susanna Marin. And I, honest to God, I did not know this book existed. There is a bookstore, an independently owned bookstore in Palm Beach, and it is called Classic Bookshop. And whenever I'm in the area, I just love to stop in there and walk around, check out the books. And I usually buy one because I can't help myself. And Honest to God, I bought this book uh, solely for the fact that I judged it by its cover and I liked the cover. I went in there and I asked the man named Dan, I said, what are your recommendations? And he suggested a book called, I believe it was A Palm Beach Mistress. And he said it was the second version to A Palm Beach Wife. So I said, well, I need to get A Palm Beach Wife because I haven't read that one. So um, judging by the cover and the font, I said, okay, I'll get it. So what's this about? It's very Palm Beach. Basically, the main character, her name is Faith, she um, uh, marries Rich and lives this fancy schmancy lifestyle in Palm Beach. Her husband does something with hedge funds and investing and things that are all over my head. Um, and that's how he makes his money. She, I guess to keep busy, has this store on Worth Avenue that's like um, a consignment shop. A rich and famous consignment shop with very unique things and her daughter kind of helps her there with these unique things and creates stories for them and um, come to find out Faith's husband has uh, a bit of a problem and that is he doesn't really have as much money as he's leading on and they lose all their money and um, I guess the Palm Beachers want to separate themselves from her because she is not as rich as she claims to be. So they kind of separate themselves from her. Something I did like about this book was that just living here, a lot of what they talk about is true. I mean, even, even Classic Bookshop is mentioned in here where I bought the book. So I thought that was pretty cool. You also kind of get little little bit of information about Faith and how maybe she's not who she claims to be she does have a bit of a secret and there is another person who comes into play here in the book and towards the end you find out more about her i give this book three out of five stars and here's why it was good but i like a little bit more excitement in my books i thought it was just like very palm beach like the woman marries rich the man does some shady activity they lose their money, everybody turns her back on them, and I, I just I just felt like it was very like stereotypical and there wasn't a whole lot of action happening. And I like a lot of action. Like I like a little bit of mystery, like some more reason to keep reading. But it what with that said, it was good. I think it did pique my interest one because I live down here and it was written very true to the area, which I liked. And I also did like the part about how she had this little store and how she was still working even though she had this rich husband. Something that I hate, and it's not, I didn't hate it in the book, I just hate in life and it's true, it's that like people will only cling to you if you have some sort of notoriety or if you have money. And if you don't have that anymore, it's like they don't give a shit. I hate that in real life, but it's true. I feel like probably especially amongst certain people in Palm Beach, it's true. So that's why it is in the book. But it was good. I am going to link to my Amazon affiliate link if you want to buy this book. That will be in the show notes for the podcast episode and the description of the YouTube video. You can also check out my blog on ChristinaAllDay.com to see everything that I said about A Palm Beach Wife. It is by Susanna Marin. Most of the books um, that are for sale there are by local authors. They spend some, some of the, their winters in Palm Beach and a lot of times they'll stop by the bookstore and autograph a copy so that's pretty cool but this is good I think this is good if you like a little bit of thriller and a little bit of romance and realistic fiction if you also just like the Palm Beach way of life I think you'll enjoy it it was a, it was a good book so yeah I will give it three out of five stars